when he came here against Terry Flanagan, he pulled out injured. But Rages Progre needed 11 rounds to stop Cepeda. Greetings, boxer fans. This is Nick with Being Boxer News coming at you with another one. Jose Zapata versus Dalton Smith. A hell of a fight. Man, that was the only fight I was able to catch, man, due to working obligations. But guess what? I caught a hell of a fight, man. I caught a hell of a fight. I'm not. <laughs> guess what, man? The zone has been showing out in the year of 2024. Dalton Smith with a record of 16 and 0. I mean, I'm going to have to say he's a hell of a prospect, but I don't recognize anybody on his on his uh, box rec now besides Jose Zapata. I mean, all the names on his box rec, I mean, is I mean, I don't I don't know these guys. Um, but when you look at a guy like a Jose Zapata with a record of 37 and 5, of course, you know, uh, he lost his um, his last one prior to this one to uh, Richardson Hitchison, right, to a uh, unanimous decision. And prior to that one, um, he, he, he won his last one. And then I remember he lost to Regis Prograde. I think Regis Prograde knocked him out. Um, and I think he had a, a, a great knockout where he knocked out Ivan Baranchek. So, and I remember he, he was one of the guys that, that, that beat Jose Pedraza. So he had a hell of a run, man. Um, he lost to, uh, Jose Ramirez. So he had a hell of a run, man, in the 140 pound division, lightweight division, man. So he been doing his thing, man. He been doing his thing. I think before this fight, he said some shit about if he lost his fight, he was going to consider retirement, man. You're only 34 years old, man. Although I know they say at 35 years old, you know, you got to consider hanging it up. I mean, he had a hell of a run. Uh, but hey, man, it's his decision. But let me just go ahead and give my take on this particular fight between uh, Dalton Smith, the rising prospect, and uh, Jose Cepeda. Because you know how they do in the UK, man. They beef up their record, and then they come out here, then they come down into the United States, you know what I'm saying, and try to grab and get that bag. <laughs> man, I say the first, the first uh, two rounds was basically just a touchy field of rounds, man. Both guys are just trying to fill each other out. I didn't see anything significant in the first two rounds. It wasn't until the third round where uh, Dalton Smith started landing on him. It was the orthodox versus the southpaw. Um, um, so Jose Cepeda was a southpaw. And like I said, Jose Cepeda, he, for some reason, man, he, he was throwing some shots, but he wasn't really landing. I, I didn't like the way he was just, just throwing these shots and just missing widely like that. And like he was battling for feet placement the entire time. And um, they, they kept on trying to feel each other out and trying to feel the distance. All right. Then they went to round number four. If you look at the round number four, all right, uh, Dalton Smith kept on catching uh, Jose Cepeda nice with some nice clean shots. I said, man, if is Peter continue to let this man land these nice clean shots on him every time he continue to come in like that, this dude going to catch him with a nice one, man. And guess what happened in round five? He caught him with a nice right that kind of stunned him. And after that right stunned him, uh, he kind of shook it off and tried to come back and hit him with a nice another right to the freaking midsection. And that was it. Fight was over. Um, celebration began. I'm like, ooh, ooh, we have a new contender in the lightweight division. 140 pound is all notice. But guess what? They got some dogs in that 140 pound lightweight division. That junior light, uh, that junior welterweight division got some dogs now. You can come down there if you want to, son. They got some. They got some people down there waiting on you. They got some fighters waiting on you now. 
They got they got Gary Russell, Gary Antoine Russell. They got Matias. They got Teofimo Lopez. They got uh, they got of course they got Devin Haney. They got she, hey Amen. Josh Taylor, I think is still down there. They got some dogs down there. So uh, come on down there if you want to. Ryan Garcia, if he's still if you don't act right, he's still down there. So hey man. The lightweight division is lit. Well, I just want to come on there, man, and just talk my shit, man. And as you can see, man, it was just like a wow. All it took, man. I, these guys got to start working that midsection, man. I, all it took was one shot, and that was it. Knocked the freaking life out of him, bro. That right shot. I mean, it was just it. I mean, sometimes you got to ask yourself, is it still in him? Is it still in him? When you start to, when you take one shot to the midsection like that and you just call it quits, you got to ask yourself, do he still want it? You know, is it, is it, is, is he still, you know, is boxing still his passion? Cause usually those guys are usually, they, they, they are able to usually shake that type of stuff off. They usually work out their midsection. They usually work out, you know, you, you can't work out their damn chin. But their midsection is something that you can work out. But that's something you got to ask yourself, ask his family, ask his trainer. And um, do I think, me personally, that Jose Cepeda should, should, shake, should hang it up? Nah, he's a warrior. He's a fighter. Continue to fight, man. But only he knows if he should hang it up or not. Um, no, 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 no sense for him to... Um, you know, bow his head, man. I mean, he had enough cojones to, to to step in that square circle, man. So I still salute him. I uh, salute um, Dalton Smith for for, for uh, coming in there and uh, handling his business. Like I said, I didn't know much about him, so I did think that uh, Jose Cepeda was going in there and do what he was supposed to do and defeat him. Although I know he had a 16 and 0 record, I know he had a a perfect record, but um, Hey man, I guess they were just trying to feed him, right? That's what they do these these up and coming um up and coming guys. They try to feed him these uh you know you know the, the, our old uh what they call gatekeepers, right? They try to pad their record, like you know sh- sh- you know. Hey, now he got a uh, Jose Cepeda in his record, but uh, tell him, come on, keep coming in like we division. They got some more in there for him. Come on, they got some more in there for him in America. He gonna get exactly what he's looking for because uh, it's not much more he can get that's gonna help pad his record up. He called out somebody. I don't, I don't know who he called out. Whoever he called out is not somebody I'm, I'm familiar with at all. But uh, I mean, it's, it's up. You know, hey man, call out somebody that, that, that we know. Stop calling out these, these people, man. I mean, it's enough padding. You, 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 you getting, you, you, you got 16 and 0, bro. It's time to step it up, brother. Time, time to step it up. Being boxing news, y'all know what it is. And I'm out, you. Peace. Yes, sir. Yeah.